Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to come on right quick. Uh, first, let me do a couple announcements. Well, really just one announcement. Um, this Thursday, actually, I'm doing a my monthly um, nutrition class. If you don't know, every third Thursday, um, I'm doing a nutrition class. where it's called, I call it a nutrition mini course, and I'm focusing this week on doing another one of my meal preps. So last month, I did a meal prep. Um, so I'll be doing that again this week. So I'm really excited. Um, basically showing you guys how I would basically meal prep some like my meals for like a week or whatever. So I'm really excited about that. We had a really good time. Like, we had so much fun. That's literally like that video has more views than any view, video I've ever done. Like last time I checked, it had like over 400 views, which is like crazy, you know. And so like I think people that's something people really enjoy enjoyed watching last time. So I thought it'd be cool because I have a couple cool recipes I kind of want to showcase. And so yeah. Um, it's, it, was, it was a lot of fun, so I hope you guys join me next, on, on Thursday um, at 7.30 p.m. Guys, I'm getting a ring light. I'm kind of excited. I'm about, like, slowly but surely upgrading my situation, like, my setup. So, like, right now, I have, like, a lamp in front of me that doesn't have, like, the shade over it. And But I just ordered a ring light, so I'm really excited. So, like, the lighting will look a little, a little bit better. So, you know, I'm trying to, like, I feel like... When God gives you something, when God gives you a platform, or God gives you anything, you should really be a good steward over it. And if you can improve it, if you can, you know, you want to make sure when God gives you something, you want to make sure that you're really putting your best foot forward. You want to make sure that you are really, um, you know, being a good steward and make sure you're doing it right. You make sure you're doing, doing a good job because you're representing God. So, like, you want to do it justice, right? So, like, I have the means to, like, get a ring lamp. A ring light, rather, and I'm really excited about that. But anyways, I'm getting a ring light, and it's going to be cool. And slowly but surely, I'm upgrading my system. But what I really want to talk to you guys about is something I've been kind of dealing with. I haven't been on as much the last week or so, and it's because I've really been dealing really heavily on this particular thing. Um, I feel like God's just been really working on me. And I'm not, like, completely over or out of it or whatever, but I'm in the process of, at least right now, I'm at a point where I can talk about it a little bit more because I kind of recognize it a little bit more. So, like, I feel like the last video I did was talking about, you know, extending mercy, extending grace, making sure that um, we are quick to extend mercy and grace and forgiveness uh, to others because God quickly extends it to us. And, like, I told you guys, you know, I got pulled over by a cop and I literally asked God for mercy because the thing was, and I pulled over because I was speeding, right? And it was like, I was in the wrong. I deserved to be, you know, for whatever that punishment was, which would probably been like a ticket. I deserved, I earned it. I deserved it because I was in the wrong. Like I did something wrong. I deserved the to the, the consequences that came with it, right? And but the thing was, is like God showed me mercy in that moment. And so where I should have gotten a ticket, I ended up just getting a warning. And so like that was kind of like God showing me how He extends grace and mercy to me all the time. And like a lot of times we overlook it because it's just like, oh, we, like we sometimes we don't really know how much He actually shows us the mercy. And so God was just highlighting that moment for me and it's kind of to show me like, this is how easily I'll show you mercy. So then you should just so easily show other people mercy. And like, I got it. I understood it. We talked about it. You know, I thought I was good on that. And then it's like one thing after another, after another, things kept popping up, popping up where things kept happening. And it's like, in these moments, you have to choose to extend mercy. And like, it's a lot easier to say when you're on the receiving side, it's great, you know? It's really good. It's awesome. But when you're the one who has to then give that mercy to show that mercy to the other person, it can be really difficult because it's like it's usually not the times when it's like, oh, something small where you can like easily. It's like big things like, wait, no. And it's crazy. So like last Thursday, um, I met this guy. He's a pastor um, at this church. And he was just um, me and my friend went. And he was just like encouraging us, you know, to keep going. Cause you know, I'm at a church plant since so a brand new church started from the ground, been with them since the start. And so he was just encouraging us, you know, and, and telling us about his journey or like, cause he started this church too, but he's been in it for like years, like decades at this point, right? And so then he like, was just giving us words of encouragement, like pray for us and whatever. And one of the things he said to me was like, uh, make sure you don't allow offense to sit in and like, it really has a lot to do with like where God's calling me to. Like God has pretty much shown me that I'm going to be like, an, or that I am an intercessor. That it's like my job or my role. Part of my role is to like pray on the behalf of others. And the thing is, 
if you allow offense to set in, it's really hard to pray for somebody. Let's say someone did something to you or something. It's really hard to pray for them afterwards if you're still offended by it, if you still have that hurt, if you're still carrying that, if you have unforgiveness, it's really hard to pray for somebody when you're not liking them in that moment, you know? And so like one thing she said that really stuck out stuck out to me, just especially with the season that of that man where I'm really looking guys really highlighting by me being to send mercy and forgiveness to others, that is not to let offense take in, set in. And like the thing is, if I allow offense to set in, it's easy for me not to extend mercy or grace or forgiveness because like it's like, wait a minute, like if I'm hurt, if I feel some type of way about a situation, I'm not gonna easily forgive someone, you know? And so, like, I don't exactly know how. I guess I and I'm thinking what I'm thinking is like to not allow offense to set in is literally making the choice, and you literally have to make the choice that okay, yes, this person did this to me, yes, this hurt me, yes, this caused me pain, or whatever, whatever. But I'm choosing not to let that bother me. I'm choosing not to let that have that hurt to have an effect on how I operate. I'm choosing not to allow that offense to change who I am as a person. Because the thing is, it's like, one of the situations that I was going through, I won't give that many details, but it's just like, well, maybe me and this person, um, maybe we shouldn't, maybe I don't need to be as close to this person as I've been, you know? Um, and so like the situation was kind of like, but then like, I was basically thinking maybe I should just, you know, maybe fall back, not, you know, do the things that I normally do. Cause like, for me, if I'm friends with somebody, um, like I really like, I feel like I have, I don't have a lot, a lot of friends. Like I have a small amount of friends, but I feel like I have really good relationships with my friends. And so whenever there's a need or whenever there's, it's like things that I'll do that, now I'm going to say go out of my way for because I just enjoy doing it. So I'll do things for the person. And so I was like, well, maybe um, I was thinking because, like, the situation happened. And I was like, well, maybe me and this person aren't actually as close as I thought we were. And maybe we, um, maybe I shouldn't, you know. I was basically thinking about changing how I operate, how I act around that particular person just because I felt like it was just this weirdness between us, right? And so the thing was, is like, but then you're changing who you are as a person to accommodate, to like accommodate this situation. And it's like, that's not a good situation. That's, and like the same thing happens when you allow offense to set in, like you literally stop being the person God created you to be because of the fact that you feel hurt or you feel like a certain type of way. So I don't know. It's something I've been kind of struggling with a little bit. And so instead of going like changing that way of like, or maybe let me not alter the way I am. I literally have to choose then to continue to be the person that I am and allow them to handle whatever issues or whatever's going on, on their part, let them handle it, or leave me being the person who's like consistent and maintains the way like just because you don't respond a certain way, something I say doesn't mean that I won't still go out my way or still do the things that I would normally do. You know? I remember I think I heard this saying once that um I had two different sayings in my head and I just forgot which one I was going to go with. But um, basically, all right, so one of the things that people, I've heard people say is that like, um, let's say two people are in an argument or something like that. Um, one way to de-escalate that argument is to, if one of the persons, like let's say if I'm arguing with somebody, one way I can de-escalate that argument is to lower my tone or lower my voice and not yell and not match. Because when you start matching their tone, their um volume, their speaking volume, that can tend that can tend to like escalate the issue or escalate the um argument. But if you calm down and you like lower your voice or you um you know uh, talk nice or you know nicer words or whatever and not yelling or degrading the other person that they will tend to come down to match you where you are I thought that was kind of interesting but yeah anyways kind of enough where I was trying to go is like um the other part of this was just like uh, I was talking to my mentor about um just some other things so, like there's like some things going on at my job and it's just like I have a reason to be upset I have a reason to feel some type of way I have a reason to kind of like not talk to you right now because of certain situations that happened with me and a person at my job. Like I legit have reasons. It's not like anything I did. Like it's just all of a sudden the person did this thing and 
And then it just kind of really changed the atmosphere of the office and made work a lot harder for the rest of us to put more work on the rest of us because of the something that went on with the other person. And the thing was, it's like, well, if it was better communication from job, everything would be fine, you know? So, like, legit, I have a reason. Like, I legit have a reason to be upset or annoyed or whatever. And the thing my mentor was telling me, I'm going to tell you, let me tell you. I'm going to read what she said because I might forget. Um... Uh, let's see what where does it start. So I was telling her like some of the things that were kind of like going on, and she was like giving me things to like think about. And she was like, "Um, is God giving you um, wait?" She basically asked, "What well, is your capacity to let go and trust God being stretched? Is your heart being released of justification, even if it's right for the sake of walking in love so basically what she's saying is like maybe god is growing you in this area where you even though you have a reason to be upset about a situation that you don't act on it that you just release it even if you don't get that apology because the thing is i probably won't get an apology from my coworker or anything like that I, I just probably won't at this point or anything like that and it's like are you um, God might be putting you this position so then that you're not expecting it. Like, because for me, when I get an apology, everything just goes like, shh. Like, everything's good. Everything's great. We're all good. Everything can go back to the way it was. But sometimes you won't get the apology. And I feel like the more you like, particularly I feel like I'm going to be growing where I'm going. I'm going to be working a lot more with people, like more than I already do right now. Like, there are going to be things that happen and like people are going to say things and I probably won't get that apology. So, all right, and will that then stop the way I operate? Is that going to stop the message I have to give? Is that going to stop my relationship with that person? And the thing is, it's like, it's really difficult because it's like, I legit have a reason to be upset. Like you did something to me. So I have a reason to be upset. But what the thing my um, mentor was telling me about that, maybe God is stretching in this area because like, you never know where I'm, God may be leading me. It might be situations where you just got to let it go, even though you were in the right the entire time, the other person was completely in the wrong, and you have a reason for, to be feeling this way, that you have to just let it go in order so that you can walk in love. So release that forgiveness, release that grace, release that mercy. Because like, the thing is, is like, some of the stuff I've been dealing with, I, I'll go back and forth. Like I'll forgive the person, but then I think about it. I'm like, wait, no, I ha I didn't do anything wrong. I, I'll replay it in my mind. It's just like, I legit didn't do anything wrong. And so, like, this person did this, this, isn't Like, I can have a whole entire list of what this person did. And so, and it justifies my reason my my reason for um feeling a particular way about the situation. And it's just like, and so it was really hard for me to really truly forgive. And like, I was trying, you know, you know, walk in forgiveness because, you know, like that's what we're supposed to do. Legit, the Bible talks about how if we can't forgive our brother, God can't forgive us. And I don't want to be in no weird situation. Like I have too much going on right now in my life for me to be in a situation where God ain't forgiving me, you know? And so like, but it was difficult because like even knowing this, even like, like knowing that, okay, I need to get over this. I need to just forgive and let it go. It's still hard because I had the reason. And so my mentor uh, uh, highlighted that point that, you know, in order to walk in love, you might have to let go of having, you know, that whole part of you that is like, oh, but I was in the right. So that's kind of where I am right now. And that's where I've been maybe the last week or so. Like I didn't come on a lot last week. I can tell you. I remember like I didn't a lot last week. Just because I've been kind of sitting in that, and I'm, I don't want to be like in a situation where, like, oh, I'm struggling in an issue, I'm dealing with something, and I just come on here, like, encourage y'all, you guys, and not even take my own advice, you know? So, like, if I'm ever gone for a minute, I'm probably working through something, you know? But it's okay, because I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you about it, and we're going to grow together. So, I think that's awesome. So, I just want to encourage you guys, like, sometimes you're not going to get that apology, and that's okay. And you have to let it go just for the sake of the relationship, just for the sake of, hey, uh, God, you know, the first command is to love God and the second one is to love your neighbor. Like, that might legit be the only reason why, you know, and you can't love them if you have all this hurt and hate and all that build up in you. So I just want to encourage you guys to really start evaluating the situations you might be in. You might have grudges that you've been holding on and to legit be for a reason, like the person did something, like did you completely wrong, but like, let it go. Like, try to let it go. Try to release it. 
and then see how the Holy Spirit will be able to move through. But I really felt like I really been expecting a really big move from the Holy Spirit recently, um, and it hasn't happened. And a mentor was telling me like that might be a reason why that might be a blockage. So the Holy Spirit can't like move as freely as He would want in my life or around me because of the fact that I had all these blockages, all this unforgiveness um, just sitting there. So it's like really one of those things like, wow, it really has an effect on, you know, your ability from he- to hear from God, you know? So I, I just want to encourage you guys. We're going to be walking walk through this one together because I'm not there yet. I ain't going to say like, oh, I'm sitting here, all is forgiven, all is great, you know, but I'm in the process of getting there. So just, I don't know, I think when you, like, you learn more, you're able to like really evaluate where you are, you know, and it's not means to say that, oh, I'm perfect or you have to be perfect, perfect right and then, and then but when you're exposed to it, we have language to language for it. I think you're able to, you know, go for start the steps of walking towards wherever that end goal is. And right now my end goal is to not allow offense to set in and to, you know, uh choose walking in love over my own feelings or my own justification. So, yeah, that's where I am. So, yeah, Thursday, 7.30, I will be on, I will do, be doing a um, we're doing a food demo. It's doing really cool. I have a couple of recipes I'm going to do, doing, like, my meal prep. And if you guys have, like, any questions, anything, anything about food, God, whatever, any questions, that's the time you can just pop up and we'll talk and we'll talk about food and talk about God, talk about everything, you know? So, yeah, I hope you guys tune in if you can, 7.30 Thursday. So, yeah, I'll see you.